Hey everybody, good morning. It is Randy McMullen. I had a really quick message for you today. It's a pretty simple one. It's about removing PMI. We have had so much appreciation the last few years. If you're paying PMI, you may be able to get out of that pretty quickly. But first, I want to make sure you know the difference between conventional and FHA PMI. Conventional PMI drops off automatically when your loan reaches 78% loan to value based on the original sales price. On FHA, the PMI declines as the loan balance declines because conventional it just stays flat. But on FHA, the PMI declines as the loan balance declines, but it stays on the loan for 30 years. So PMI on FHA doesn't really go away unless there's a couple of exceptions. If you did a 15 year FHA loan, which there aren't many of those, or if you put 10% down on FHA, then your PMI automatically drops off after 11 years. But there aren't many of those. So we're going to focus on the conventional PMI. And really, it's a very simple process. You just need to get in touch with your servicer. Let them know that your home value has gone up and ask them if you can have PMI removed from your loan. It's that simple. They may require you to pay for an appraisal, which you might want to do because that'll you know one-time cost to save PMI for the rest of your loan. But that's a real simple thing. So just give your servicer a call. Let them know that your house has increased in value and that you'd like to have the PMI removed. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, always feel free to give me a call. This is Randy McMullen with Amstar Mortgage.